G'day folks, just a quick discussion on these little wooden bridges which I'm putting on this scabbard. Um, it's enough for the, uh, the straps to pass under and these will just locate the straps so they don't slide up and down the scabbard. Um, you see these sometimes used on uh, modern interpretations of Viking sword designs and often they're bound with leather straps which appear to be holding it on but I never really understood it because leather stretches and moves so much once you oil it, it gets soft like you can pull it as tight as you want but as soon as you oil it and stuff it's just going to release and relax out um, obviously these need to be fastened in on their own without relying on binding unless it was a wire binding you know that might be you know a bit more um, sturdy than leather but um, I'm not going to bind these on I've just just going to pull them off I've just used dowel basically I've um I was going to show you that. I'll go and grab it. All right, this is what I wanted to show you. This um, that's the dowel I've made. It's basically ten millimeter red oak dowel, which I've turned down to four millimeters on the lathe. Um, yeah, so just using some dowel um, to mark the holes for drilling in the scabbard. When I made the scabbard, knowing that I was going to carve it and drill it. I've made it fairly meaty. Normally I try and make scabbards fairly thin, but I've left this wider and thicker than I normally do, um, just to give me room to play with for the wood carvings and stuff. But yeah, you can see the dowel only sticks in an eighth of an inch, something like that. Three to four mils. And um, yeah, just marking the dowel on there. Um, I, I've put them in the, the bridge sections first, the locator first, and then I've put a little bit of paint on the centers uh, just on a, a tiny drop of paint on the centers of each dowel and I've had center lines penciled on the scabbard I've positioned it left a little mark and then I've double checked my measurements just measuring from center to center of the dowel before drilling so yeah pretty straightforward I'm going to glue this with um, tight bond 3 because it's the strongest glue I have access to it's um, very strong glue um, as you saw, it, it it goes on pretty pretty good without glue even. You know, that's I can pick up the whole scabbard with that. That's on there nicely. But I'll glue those on, clamp them on, wait for the glue to set. Before I glue it, though, I am staining this scabbard. I'm going to be using um, Phoebing's uh, Kelly Green Leather Dye to... Uh, it's an alcohol-based leather dye where there's going to be glue and where I'm going to paint this star, I'm going to paint it silver. I'm going to use an alcohol-based leather dye for that. And then I've got an oil-based uh, Phoebings green, which I'm going to put sort of mottled around the edges, which um, the oil base is a better wood dye, but I don't want to put oil-based dye where I'm going to paint it and glue it. I'm just going to use the alcohol base dye so I'm going to dye it before I glue it because I don't want the wood glue to shield the uh the timber from soaking up the dye and then having like uncolored bits where the glue might you know press out from the uh you know from the gluing yeah so that's my process anyway that's what I'm doing for this one uh just that I'd give folks a look under the hood on how I approach the situation how I um fasten these guys on um curious to see if anyone else has other techniques that they're using to to fasten bridges on of course and yeah just to might as well show off the carvings i've done that with a, a three millimeter carbide burr on the dremel i've done the fine writing with a two millimeter cylindrical single uh single cut carbide burr and these ones also the finer ones with a two millimeter cylindrical carbide burr on the dremel uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, I've done another video somewhere on leather dye, but yeah, I'm going to dye this, uh, glue it, and then put the oil-based dye on it, and I'm going to add a shellac layer. Oh, before I do that, I'm gluing in a stone here too, one of these nice little cubic zirconias. I'm going to epoxy that in, because I want it to grip around the, uh, the stone. Um, yeah, then I'm going to put a shellac coat on everything after the, um, the painting. And then I'm going to put a wax coat on after the shellac. So yeah, it's a, a Gilly, Gilly's um, gun wax. It is. It's um, Gilly Stevenson. She's a, a local 
wax merchant she's been around forever um but that's the uh the wax i use over my my shellac cheers there's the pieces dyed i'm just going to give it a few minutes to dry before i glue it um, i just wanted to mention that i said i use tight bond 3 for this uh, just because it's external to the scabbard anything internal to the scabbard that may come into contact with the sword blade always tight bond 1 never 3 because it will mark the blade it's more acidic than tight bond 1 which i assume is why it uh, bonds better but yeah always tight bond 1 inside the scabbards for gluing the halves together uh, tight bond 3 because it's external yeah I've got my stone set, I've got my silver paint on. Uh, for paint I'm using uh, leather paint, it's a water-based acrylic leather paint, Lumiere. I also use um, Angelus uh, leather paints which are good for painting timber too. Um, you can put epoxy finish over those or you can also um, put shellac over them but I read that uh, putting shellac over a water-based paint it must be de-waxed shellac whereas putting it over an oil-based paint it can be either de-waxed or regular shellac so mine is de-waxed shellac so that'll be fine so i'm gonna let all of that uh, glue and paint and stuff set now and um, get back to the surface finishes in a little while I had one final tip for these guys too, which is getting the curvature of the underside of these to match the scabbard, which is pretty straightforward. Just lay um, sandpaper over the scabbard and uh, rub them, you know, keep them centered, but rub them up and down that sandpaper. It helps to get the curve to match the scabbard. Uh, cheers.